Hey everyone, I made this video to show you how to transfer filler from one syringe into another syringe. So there's gonna be two methods shown. It doesn't matter what product you use. We're using Revelax Sub-Q and Revelax Deep. Just in this video, you can use any products whatsoever. The purpose is to show you our new Lua Lock splitter that we have on the online shop that you can buy. This is the Baxter splitter that we used to use, which is the red one there. And this is the new one. So you can see there's a little bit of a difference between the two of them. But as I said, you can get this one on the online shop. It's a little bit smoother and easier to use. So that's sub Q and there's the deep. So the first thing we're gonna do is take the sub Q, take the top off of, off of the syringe. Now, most of the time I don't use, put the needle on the top. I use, if you look in the picture on the video, there's a red and a white stopper. So we take the Baxter connector out of the packet, put that aside. Then we connect one end. You literally just screw that end in like that. Just showing you in the video so you can see what it looks like. Put that down on a clean surface. Open another one mil Lua Lock syringe. You can also buy these on the online shop. It's got the little screw top there, as you can see on the top. So I just air it a little bit so it's easier to get the product into it. Then you simply just screw the top on, like so. Make sure that they're both connected so no product can leak from the sides. And then you just push the product through and it will automatically put, push through to the other side. So if you wanted to split it into 0 0.5 or you wanted 0 0.2, you can still keep whatever amount you want in each syringe, which makes it a little bit easier and you're a bit more in control of how much you're using. Some of you might just use 0 0.8 mil of filler. So we're just gonna pop that down there. These are the stoppers, we've got them in red or white. It's completely up to you. Now, if you was working on a client straight away, you'd put the needle straight onto the syringe end of the Revelax, or you would put the stoppers on. It's completely by choice. For me, I like to put the stoppers on, that way I'm not actually opening the needle and connecting it. So I'm just popping the stopper there on the top. And again, you just screw that onto the top of the Lua Lock connection. And then I'm gonna show you with this one connecting the little stopper onto the top of that. So here's the second one and just screw it in. And that's it, that's one way to connect using the Baxter connector. Of course, like I said, you can put the needle on if you wanted to, which I'll show you when we move on in a minute onto the Revelax Deep and connect that. So just put that to one side So there's the little Baxter connector again, just so you can see it a little bit clearer. And this is the new one. We have got plenty in stock. So I'm just gonna move that out of the way. So here it is, you can see it's clear. It smoothly moves the filler through the little tube. I don't know if you can see where I'm filming. It's a little bit of a closer look for you. So it's got little wings on the side. So this is the Revelax Deep. Again, we're just gonna take the lid off, just grab it another stopper. But I think I will actually put the needle on the top of this just to show you. Disconnect the top. Make sure you're wearing gloves when you do this if you want to do it prior to the client coming in. I actually do this in front of the client, just so they can see that it was connected. Again, get another Lua Lock 1ml syringe. Take it out of the package. Air it out a little bit first so it makes it easier. Again, I'm just showing you it's the Lua Lock. It just makes the product go in a little bit smoother if you just air it out a little bit. 
connect the top again. Both of them are the same. You just connect the top on and screw. There we go. It's just tiniest little twist. And again, just push the product through. It's up to you how much you put in there. It automatically pushes through. As you can see there, it's got a little bit out of picture. I'll bring it back down in a second so you can see. There it is. So then I'm opening this stopper. They're a bit fiddly to open these stoppers. They've got like a little lip on the top. As you can see just there. You know what it's like when you've got your gloves on trying to get into it. So take it out of the packet, put that aside. Unscrew one end. Put the stopper on the top. It's all connected. There's that one. Here's the other stopper. which I was going to put the other stopper on, but then I decided to put the needle on so you could see that as well. So here's the needle out of the box for the Revelax Deep. Just take off the bottom and come back. Take off the new lure lock. That's the split that's just been taken off there and your needle's on. So you can go straight into injecting and then save that for the next client and it's clean. I, I personally, like I said, don't like to put the needle on the top of it. I like to put the stopper on. But either way is acceptable. It depends on what you prefer. So this is me just showing you the one all together. So the stopper's come in red or white. And that's it. I hope this has helped you to understand. So I'm just giving you a close up of the Baxter connector which is a bit bulky, and our new ones that we sell in the online shop. I don't know if there's anywhere else you can buy these at the moment, but we've got them in specially. There's a bit of a close-up and a close-up of the stopper. Hopefully this will show you two different ways of taking filler from one to another, because we do have, we know Revelax and some of the one mil products don't come in 0.5. So if you just want to use 0.8, you're not ending up binning the product and then you've got some product that you could use. You might just want a 0.1 or a 0.2 for another client. So I hope this has helped. Uh, let me know what you think.